Hey, it's homework help time. Week two, day two, fourth marking period. So in this first problem, it wants you to find the area. So we have to figure out how to decompose this so that you can find the area of the individual shapes and then add them together. So here's where I am going to start. Let me get my pen ready. I am going to decompose it right there. And that way, I ha I'm gonna find the area of that triangle and then I'm gonna find the area of this rectangle. Once I find the two er the areas of those two shapes, I'm going to add those together to get my total answer. So let us start with the triangle. Now, you're, no triangles to find the area. It's half times base times height. So in this one, we're gonna find the base here. So the base is right here, but this we have to figure out, and the height is here, and we have to figure that out as well. So here's what I know about the base. This entire side of the rectangle from bottom to top is 12 because it's labeled right here. So that means this three plus this three, which is six, plus whatever the base of my triangle is has to add up to 12. So I know three plus three is six and six plus six is 12. So that base has to be six. So I'm gonna write that down here and I'm gonna write a little six right there. Okay, now let's talk about the height of the triangle, which is this line right here. Now here's what I know, you see this 15? That 15 is the height of this entire shape. Okay, but we only need the part in the blue triangle. So here's what I know. If the whole thing is 15, this part down here that's just in the rectangle is nine. See that nine right there? So nine, plus whatever this is has to add up to 15. So I know that nine plus six is six is 15. So that height is going to be six as well. And if you type that in, you get 18 for the triangle. So this is part of it. It's not our final answer yet because now we need to find the rectangle. Now the good news is this rectangle is going to be much easier. So check it out. See here? is 12, right? This is 9. Just length times width. 12 times 9. Type it in if you don't know your 12s, but it is 108. So here we have the triangle, the rectangle. If we add those together, we get 126 square centimeters. All right, that's it for the top one. Now we're going to go to the bottom. Find the surface area. Now notice we have a square pyramid. It has a square base and all the sides are triangles. I'm gonna draw a net so you can see what it looks like unfolded. Imagine your square base and then each side of that square has an identical triangle attached to it. So all we have to do is find the area of our square and of the four triangles. And there, if you find one, all four of them are going to be the same. So let's start with the square. Let's go into our shape. See, it's just length times width, so seven times seven. So the square, the base, is 49 square centimeters. Now the triangles, remember there's four of them. Well, the triangle, remember, is half times base times height. So the base, I'm gonna switch over to, let me see, I'll do orange here. The base of the triangle is seven. And the height of the triangle, it's called the slant height, is 12. So I have half times 7 times 12. Now you can type that in your calculator if you want, but I know half of 12 is 6, and 6 times 7 is 42. So remember, the 42 is the area of one of the triangles, but there's four of them. So all I have to do is 42 times 4, and I get 168. So here's what I know. Each triangle is 42. So there's 42, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 168 plus the square is 49. So if we add 168 and 49, and yes, you could use a calculator, you get 217, and our total surface area is 217 square centimeters. All right, I hope that helped. They were two tricky problems, I'll give you that, and this video was a little bit longer. If you have any other questions, make sure you ask in class. Thanks for watching.